So you're a forex trader that is trying to become a millionaire. Well, it's not going to be easy. And there's a few things that you need to understand before you can become a millionaire. So I have gathered seven principles for you to understand so that you can become a millionaire. Before I give you these seven principles, make sure you subscribe and like this video because I'm about to give you exclusive content to become a millionaire. So the first principle that I need you guys to understand is fixing your psychology. Understanding that it will not take overnight. It will not be a get rich quick scheme. A lot of folks traders want to get rich quick. Yes. It can get you rich very, very fast, but it takes time, okay? Now, I know that sounds very, very contradicting, but what I mean by it takes time, it takes time because your psychology is messed up. You feel like it will take overnight. No, it can take a year or two, which is very, very quick to become a millionaire. A lot of traders take 10, 20, even 30 years to become a millionaire. But with the resources that we have, at this very moment of time with funded accounts, with prop firms, with all the different resources that we have, with YouTube, academies, with mentorships, you can now become a millionaire very, very fast, but it won't take overnight. So fixing your psychology and understanding that it will not take overnight to become rich will help you in the long run. Now, the second principle is planning your trading session. Now, as a trader, you need to take this professionally. You cannot just hop on the markets whenever you feel like and place trades and just miraculously make profit. No, what you need to do is you need to go in the markets, set yourself a session. Let's say, for example, with me, I trade at the end of the Asian session, at the beginning of the London session. The reason why, because it gets me up early in the morning, I get to look at the markets, get my day done by maybe 1 or 2 p.m. and I'm done for the day. The reason why I do this is because number one, it helps me. Number two, I don't fixate myself to the market and place trades out of my session. So if my session doesn't have an entry, I just don't trade. Setting that discipline and setting yourself a professional workplace for yourself as a trader, even though a lot of tr traders will say you can trade everywhere, you can place trades in your sleep, do whatever you want but make sure you're professional with it, making sure that you have your set rules and you have your session sorted so that when you place a trade, you can just repeat it from Monday to Friday and keep doing that for the next 30 to 60 to 90, even a year's time. The more you keep yourself disciplined, you will become very, very successful very, very fast. So the third principle that I need to give you guys is sticking to one to two pairs. Now, I have seen traders that have ridiculous amount of pairs on their screen, okay? It's very, very difficult. The best way I can explain it to you guys is every market is like a new language, right? Euro USD, GBP USD, AUD USD, gold, they're all different languages. You cannot learn all these languages at once. You need to break it down. So only sticking to one to two pairs will help you so much in the forex markets because now you're focusing on one thing or even two pairs, you're focused. You're not distracting yourself with all these 50 to 60 pairs on your screen. You're not confused with all the different pairs. You're not confused with all the different trading sessions. You're fixated on two to three pairs or one to two pairs and just focusing on that. Because once you focus on that, you'll be able to master that one or two pairs and then you can move on to the next. When I first started off with trading, I made the mistake of focusing on around 30 to 40 pairs and that overwhelmed me because I was looking at 30 to 40 pairs every single day, right? It wasn't possible. I was on the charts for eight to 10 hours a day. It wasn't logical. What I started to do is I broke it down to one to two pairs. As soon as I did that, I started seeing 10K, 100K. So if you can just replicate that and just focus on one to two pairs, I can guarantee you that you will then start to see a lot of success in your Forex journey. Now, moving on to the fourth principle. The fourth principle is sticking to one strategy. I know you go on YouTube and you see SMC, ICT, Fibonacci, heat maps. You see all these different strategies and you don't know which one to pick. What is your choice? This is your market. This is you versus yourself. You need to fixate yourself with one strategy and focus on that strategy, okay? You cannot use 
three to four strategies on one trading plan and one trading session because you're going to overwhelm yourself because i've seen that the market moves up for one strategy here's the take profit and then there's another strategy for other traders as well to make money in the markets right so if you're an smc trader stick to it if you're an ict trader stick to it if you are a fundamental trader stick to it if you use fibonacci stick to it but don't change your strategy once you have a strategy that works for you do not change it just repeat repeat and repeat and trust me once you've done this you will see light at the end of the tunnel because a lot of traders keep changing the strategy and what that does is they don't realize that that puts them right back to the start of their journey you want to have a continuous journey you don't want to be going forwards and backwards and forward and backwards you want to have a continuous journey so just sticking to one strategy will make a huge difference because now you're just repeating the same strategy the same entry protocol the same exit protocol the same risk management once you do this you will see crazy success in the market now the fifth principle that i need to give you guys and i'm actually a victim of this is when i first started off in forex i was following so many gurus i went on instagram and i followed all these gurus and then i went on twitter and i followed all these gurus and i went on youtube and subscribed to all these gurus that doesn't make sense right because you follow all these gurus with different strategies that show you different things that show you lavish and they confuse you they then ruin your psychology and they ruin your chances to be successful and become a millionaire in the forex market so what you need to do is go on instagram go on youtube and unsubscribe to all those gurus that are just flashy that are just showing them their lifestyles because they have made it they've made it in the markets it's your turn to become that person delete them off your profile and actually focusing on yourself look around you don't look at these gurus for motivation look at yourself because trust me your motivation will help you much more than other people's motivation and for me that affected me a lot i was following so many people guys I had to just cut it out because I felt a huge load of pressure, I felt a lot of distractions and I just wasn't focused on my own journey. So once I did that and I deleted everyone off my profile and I kept one to two or three traders that I like and enjoy, once I've done that then you can go and focus on your journey. And once I did that, I was able to grow rapidly because I had no one else distracting me. I didn't have a new strategy that came out. I wasn't following anyone. I just focused on my charts. Remember, the charts don't change. What happened 10 years ago will be the same thing today. There's just more traders in the market now. There's more people that are influencing within the markets and you need to come out of that trap. Now, before we go to the most important principle, which is the last one, I just need to give you one more principle. And that is understanding your risk management. Now, I think this is one of the most important things as a trader and it should actually be on your strategy. Understanding your risk management helps you handle your money, helps you treat the market professionally. You're not just trying to flip accounts. You're not just trying to grow an account and you're not inconsistent with your growth. I've seen traders that make 10K and then suddenly they're making 50K and then suddenly they're making only $1,000. It doesn't make sense. Sticking to the same profit. If you see my charts, I always have around the same profit. It could be from ranging around 1,000 to 10K and it will always be that same amount. It's all about your risk management. It's all about your risk reward ratio. It's all about your entry and exit protocol. So because you'll be going from 1,000 to 10K, 10K to 100K, and then 100K to a million very, very fast. Once you understand that, once you can get from 1K to 10K, that's the exact same process from 100K to a million. So if you can just make 1K to 10K, guys, trust me, you're already on the road to a million now the most important and the last principle is actually rewarding yourself rewarding yourself actually helps you a lot in forex especially if you're making a lot of money or if you're on a funded account taking out that payout it gives you that adrenaline it gives you that nice feeling i usually do at least one to two payouts every month to let myself know that i am doing a good job listen if you're not a millionaire just yet it doesn't matter you don't have to flip accounts overnight go out reward yourself take a break and actually enjoy the process if you don't enjoy the process there's no point of being a millionaire in the first market the first market is fun it's enjoyable but it can be very very stressful at times so just taking a break and rewarding yourself and understanding how far you have become because i know a lot of you have 
gone so far from making only $1 to making two, to making five, to making 10. Reward yourself. Don't look at other gurus and think you need a private jet or a Lamborghini or flashy clothes or a flashy house. The fact that you're able to make 10 or even $20 in the market is such a good achievement and you need to reward yourself for that because that is crazy. Not everyone can do that in the market. So the fact that you're able to do that and you're able to do that consistently, go ahead and reward yourself because why? Rewarding yourself will help you not blow accounts and it will calm your ego down and it will help with your psychology. Now, if you watch the video to the end, I've actually launched an academy where I get to help you guys become a millionaire. So if that is someone like you, and if you're watching the video by now, you are the person that I want in my academy, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. I help students turn their money and become a millionaire. I help students get their first 10K, get their first thousand, get their first 100K, and even get their first million dollars. So if you wanna achieve those achievements, go ahead and check out the link below. And if you did like this video, make sure you go like this video and subscribe and comment down below how you're gonna make your first million dollars. And oh yeah, YouTube just recommended you another video. Go ahead and check it out. I'll see you guys later.